Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Learn to Become an Animator. In this video I am going to show you how you can create this kind of VFX shot with your product into the Blender. With the help of After Effect and the Blender I am going to create this shot today. So let's begin. First of all let's go into the After Effect. Just import the video which you have selected into the After Effect and just create a new composition. After importing the video just right click on the track track and the track camera. It will take some time to analyze and uh, solve the camera. Now everything is done. So once it's tracked the camera and solved the camera you can just check into the viewport. You see all the trackers and the small small tick mark. Now in the footage anywhere you can just go and where you find the perfect circle with the three points selected into the footage just click on that and right click create solid and the camera once you do you can see one plane has been created and you see now you are able to see the track is very proper there's no sliding at all now we just need to realign the plane according to the video footage for that just click on the solid go to transform and do some orientation you can do the orientation into the z axis and you can take any reference from the any corner or any point reference from the footage so it will be very easy to manage with that you can see i'm going to just match with with this image now just play and check okay everything looks fine so there is no sliding at all now we have to get the all the data into the blender with the help of the add-on i told you that a to blender it's after effect to blender just go to the blender now and install that add-on a to blender I'll show you. Go in the preferences. You can see this A2 blend. You'll find the link into the description. You can download this add-on and you can install it. After that, again go to the After Effect. Go to Camera. Inside the camera, you can see the Transform. Just select the position and the orientation and just copy by pressing Ctrl C. Go to Blender and go to this add-on. You can see the left side and click on the Create Camera. When you click, click on the Create Camera, the camera appears into the Blender which is copied from the After Effect. And the same way we have to bring here the plane as well. So just click on the Track Solid, Anchor Point, Position, Scale and the Orientation. This data we have to get it into the Blender. Just Ctrl C copy everything and in the blender you can click on create plane you can see here just create plane and also click on the create empty so there will be one empty has been created so you can see right now our camera and the plane is inside like below the grid but that we can manage very easily and we have to do some adjustment into the blender before that just go to the camera and we can check how our our track is working so to get the image plane or the footage inside just you need to select the camera click on the camera here go to image background image add image and click on the movie clip just open the movie clip from your computer and now you can see the movie clip if you see very light you can just adjust the opacity but you see our plane is not matching exactly so we have to get some more data from the after effect go to after effect again click on the camera double click and just copy the focal length and go to blender again check the camera and paste the focal length once you do that you can see our plane is lying properly at one place now also you can see very slight sliding that because of the blender data it starts from the frame one and the after effect bringing the, all the data which is from zero so just we need to select this data all the camera transformation and the plane tran transformation and select all the key and just move for one frame press G X and one now you see all our tracking is perfect now it's time to align properly the plane and the camera just bring it here one more viewport and just press t to hide this everything now you see everything is down below the grid level and so we can use this empty here so with that empty we can move everything camera and the plane so for that just select the plane camera and the empty and press ctrl p and parent with the transformation on keep transformation so everything we can move at the level of the grid 
go to side view and just move it till the grid level side by side you can check into the camera as well if you don't see properly just go to wireframe and make sure it's aligning properly now we just need to rotate it so press r and rotate the same way go from go to other view and just press r and rotate it you can go as as much as zoom as you can now from the both the angle you can just verify that okay we have uh, rotated this properly now i think it looks fine now go to type top angle and just rotate so it will align along with the our image this uh, grid we need to align along with the image you can rotate the plane separately if it is not looking fine for you that's fine now you can see everything is matching nice but one thing i want to do this uh, whole setup i want to bring everything to the cursor in the center of this world for that just select this empty because everything is just uh, connected to empty and uh, press shift s and selection to cursor now you can see our grid is properly at the plane so whatever you import into the scene it will be placed over there now our track is ready now it's time to bring the object or the product you want to just import and render into the scene before that just save the file now i am going to bring the one now i am going to import the bottle model which I, which i showed you at the beginning that's my own model i have created i'll show you you can see this model i am going to bring into the uh, in the track scene for that just uh, we have to append that just go to append and go to the scene that model uh, especially for that for example this is the perfume bottle go inside the collection and this is the collection i am going to append now you see the bottle appears exactly where the cursor is now we can rotate and scale according to our scene so we need to definitely we need to scale to top view and the rotate uh, such angle and just move it little back so i think this is the good placement so this is the perfect track and our animation is ready i mean product has been placed inside now we need to just put some lighting and environment and render so let's start for the lighting so just click on the shader view now and in the rendering setting just click on the cycle and the gpu and go to the world coordinate node and just click on the color environment texture and bring the hdri yeah, i'll put the link into the description for this hdri the same hdri if you are going to use you can use it i have downloaded this hdri from the polyhaven.com so you can download any hdri which is suitable for your footage and the product now we can see the hdr in the camera just want to see the transparent just go into the rendering setting click on the film and the transparent so now you see the transparent now we have to bring one plane here in the below i am just switching off this plane right now and we are creating one more lane to get environment reflected inside now you can see this car is not reflecting here okay but by creating this plane you can start looking the shadow and once you create the plane you can just give it uh, go to the visibility property and select click on the shadow catcher so now you can render like this as well but if you want the reflection properly in the bottle then we need to uh, just create little bit environment so that i am going to do that right now so for that i'll just switch off this one the logic behind the reflection is i am going to project the same video footage which we are using in the background on this plane so after that you can see the reflection because the physical element without physical element you cannot see the reflection so that car and the whole video we are going to project on this plane and then only you can start looking at the reflection 
into the bottle. Further just select the plane, go to the shader editor, click on the new principal BHDF and now just bring the image sequence. You can search for the image sequence. I exported the image sequence from the after effect from the same video. Just press A to select everything and just import and connect this image sequence to the base color. Now you can see the image sequence has come but it's not properly playing or the projecting so for that just we have to do the uv projection so now go to edit press a and select all the faces and press u for the uv projection now here you can see the option called projects from the view so once you do the project from the view the all the same image sequence you can see in, in the viewport and if it is not playing you just have to select the image sequence press n for the modifier tab and click on the cyclic and the auto refresh and now it will play here just because of the render view it's playing slow but it's playing now you see the reflection and everything for that just we need to click the roughness full so now it's not going to reflect anything and also click the this plane which we have modeled and go to property object property and just click on the shadow catcher so now once you go to the render mode you can see you can see the car is reflecting inside the bottle moving and also the shadow so our scene is perfectly done here now it's time to render take the render just go to the output property and change the uh, render setting you can just make it 100 for the viewport click on the denoise just click on the gpu uh, your max sample is i am just putting 100 not much and now just click on the render you can render any one image as well this plane is getting rendered just you can delete that plane or you can just switch off the render now you can just go by here and just press render for single image now you can render the whole sequence like in the alpha like in the transparent background and you can comp into the after effect or you can comp into the blender itself you can do both the things and you can render how you can do if you don't know the after effect or the premiere to compete you can just comp into the blender straight away i'll show you how you can do that into the blender so i am just going to render any one image so once you render the single image just go to the com compositing click on the compositing use node you can see here shift control click on the image so the this viewer node will appear so you can see that our render image into the background to zoom out you can press v and zoom in alt v okay so just zoom out a little bit and now just bring the alpha over node here and to comb these things you have to bring our image sequence the background image sequence okay just connect that image sequence to here or uh, you can connect this here and our render image is here okay so our comping is done you don't require to go into the after effect if you don't know the after effect so the comping is done here now you can render directly from the blender now you can just go to any frame just go to layout you can just go any frame and just press render it will render along with the background so this way you can render the whole sequence see our render is completed and this is how very easily you can track the camera into the after effect and you can do your product animation vfx shot cgi vfx shot into the blender i hope you understood very well if you have any question just let me know into the comment box so i can answer that and see you soon happy animating thank you if you like my tutorial you can subscribe and share thanks a lot